Welcome to Pondell's Alley. Normally I talk about a poem of Emily Dickinson's and I relate an image to go with it. But today we're going to discuss a different topic, a topic that wasn't even a thing back then, uh, and it's racism. We have, it's been 190 years since Emily Dickinson's time and we have only progressed in the fact that we have brought racism at least to the forefront. I'm not even sure it's to the forefront. It's just now it, it is a thing and at least people are talking about it now. At least it is a, has become a thing and it's not just hidden. But then I think 190 years and that's all we have progressed to is that we are now talking about it, we should be a lot further along with regards to racism. Every person needs to know and say Breonna Taylor's name. Breonna Taylor, Breonna Taylor, Breonna Taylor. Now, in my case, I didn't research her case until I saw the verdict. And I'm ashamed to say that I didn't look up the information about her until I heard the verdict. And the verdict uh, was that her killer received wanton endangerment instead of murder. I heard a reporter ask, how do you explain her being shot five times? Not only should everyone know and say Breonna Taylor's name, but they also should know the story and what happened. So I am going to read to you a short description. The story of Breonna Taylor. I also have a link of this down below. Breonna Taylor, a 26 year old African American woman was fatally shot in her Louisville, Kentucky apartment on March 13th, 2020, when plainclothes officer Jonathan Mattingly, Brett Hankinson, Miles Cosgrove of the Louisville Police Department forced entry into the apartment as part of an investigation into drug dealing operations. Taylor's boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, was inside the apartment with her when the officers repeatedly knocked on the door and then forced entry. Officers said that they announced themselves as police before forcing entry, but Walker said he did not hear any announcement. Thought the officers were intruders and fired a warning shot at them. According to officials, it hit Mattingly in the leg and the officers fired 32 shots in return. Walker was unhurt by Taylor, but Walker was unhurt, but Taylor was hit by six bullets and died. According to police, Taylor's home was never searched. On June 23, 2020, the LMPD fired Hankinson for blindly firing through the covered patio door and window of Taylor's apartment. On September 15th, the city of Louisville agreed to pay Taylor's family 12 million in reform police practices. On September 23rd, a state grand jury indicted Hankinson on three counts of wanton endangerment for endangering a neighbor of Taylor with his shots. None of the officers involved in the raid were directly charged in Taylor's death. On October 2nd, 2020, recordings from the grand jury investigation into the shooting were released. The shooting of Taylor by white police officers led to protests that added to those across the United States against police brutality and racism. When a grand jury did not indict the officers for her death, more protests ensued. We live in a free country. 
and you are welcome to your own opinion about Breonna Taylor and this case. But the fact is Breonna Taylor is dead from six gunshots fired from police. Where are people supposed to go for help and protection when the police act more like a militia than serving to protect our country as a whole? Service to others does not mean power over them. Quite the opposite. It is now time for everyone to put Brianna Taylor's face and life into our hearts and minds and pray that we will do our best to bring peace, justice, and equality for all.